Time to play with some play. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is anchor this in to the hole. There we go. I'll keep it from moving around while I work on it. I got my magnifiers on. I banged his forehead when I put the... Uh, background behind it so you can see it a little bit clearer so now i gotta rework that area never let something like that get you frustrated i'm putting the eyeball back in there because i screwed it up and it's going to take a very little bit of clay talking about a molecule clay now you see the advantage of taking the head off of uh, the figure because there's just no way I could have worked this kind of detail having to reach over and up to the head There's a little facial muscle that goes from the core of the mouth back to where it joins back here. And so I've got to uh, indicate that. I have two I think I got two videos on doing a uh, creation of a bust, which goes into great detail of how I do this. Whew. This, this wire tool that I'm using is uh, a glyptic wire tool. It's uh, You can put different wire shapes into your handle and uh, you can attach them or uh, lock them in with a Allen wrench which comes with the uh, tool. And uh, they're much better than wooden tools or even all metal tools where it comes with the uh, wire in it 
a lot less expensive. The wire tool that comes with the uh, wire in it will fail after time because they only take so much stress on the uh, wire before they break loose inside the handle. So uh, I would suggest going to SculptureDepot.net and uh, ordering yourself a set of glyptic tools in different sizes. Wire tools are very important. I see a lot of people using other kinds of tools that really don't make any sense for doing sculpture. These make sense. Okay, got to work on his eyes a little bit. All right, this is going to have to be the last thing I do today. Is uh, smooth off the face with some lighter fluid and a soft brush. What the uh, this Ronsonol lighter fluid does is it melts the clay just enough to smooth it. Tomorrow I'll work on the ear on that side. But my eyes can only take so much of this and they start going blurry. My eyes ain't young anymore. Alright. I think I'll, uh... Well, maybe I will work on that ear. Yeah. This tool I'm using right now is made by KensTools.com. They've got really small, delicate wire tools you can use. The movie industry uses them a lot in their uh, special effects department where they do a lot of sculpting. All right, I'm going to have to work on this tomorrow. It's too soft right now because of the uh, lighter fluid, and it has to evaporate before I can work on it again. So I'm going to call it quits for the night, and I'll pick this up uh, tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.